On Monday, Governor Andrew Cuomo signed new legislation that would increase the minimum wage over time to $15 an hour in New York State. This could have a great impact on the economy in Syracuse. The store owner of the restaurant Just One Bite, Adam Liddell, does not like the new legislation, however. you got guys that work 40 hours a week that make $500 a week. Now they're going to make you know, $600 a week. We can't afford the taxes. Prices go up on everything. You're going to see that a $2 sandwich is now going to be five dollars to cover the minimum wage. Liddell might be worried about future costs, but one of his cooks, Tom Bell, thinks the raising of the minimum wage was a necessity. Of course, it would be, it would be almost ludicrous to think any other way. Um, I've been working most of my life, um, so any wage or any incentive um, in pay um, um, would, would suit any uh, middle class or low income person well, and I'm one of those people. Other than increasing the minimum wage to $15, Andrew Cuomo also signed a bill that would increase maternity leave to 12 weeks. Mr. Bell also thinks that this is a good idea. Well, we are some trying times right now. And any help to, to help to, to, to enhance your family structure or maybe spending those first uh, uh, weeks or so with your newborn child in order to usher them in the world, I commend that. In Onondaga County, the minimum wage will be increased to nine seventy an hour at the end of 2016, then increased by $0.70 cents each year until reaching twelve fifty on December 31, 2020. After that, the minimum wage will continue to rise on a new plan schedule until it reaches $15 an hour. I'm Blake Levine, NCC News.